Red Diamond is too low, guys. I'm back with another video, and today we are reacting to um, airline weighs passengers before flying. Too heavy for the plane. Okay, this is so weird. I've never heard of weighing passengers before flying. What are you going to do? Weigh them and be like, oh, you're too big. You can't fly. You're going to weigh the plane down. It's dumb. But, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Okay. Your bag is fine. Now I need you to get on the scale. What do you mean I have to get on the scale? How are we supposed to know what you weigh if you won't get on the scale? What, so you could charge me extra? I'd be like, what does it matter? What kind of airline do you think we are? We don't charge passengers for weight. Yet. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yet. Okay. You're all checked in. You may proceed to gate 37. Next. I'm with her, and here's my bag. Oh. Hey, be careful with that. That's my comic book collection. Well, your comic book collection weighs five pounds too much. That'll be $25. $25? No one I'm pretty sure she's just trying to pocket some of that money for herself. Come on now. Here, the tickets were so cheap. Okay, $25. Now your turn on the scale. What? You want to weigh me too? Okay. That's a first. Uh-uh. She's so judgmental. She said, okay. Like, really? It's all muscle. Way to make Whatever people feel it is. uncomfortable. You can go to gate 37. Hi, I'm Karen Reynolds. I believe you're expecting me. Only if you have a ticket. Of course. I see you're in basic economy. Do you have any bags to check? Well, I have this one. Your bag is $35. Your purse is $25, so that will be $60. $60? Really? <laughs> Do I have to pay that? No, right. not at all. You can leave your purse and bag here. Fine. You can have your $60. Good. 46 pounds. You barely made it. Now it's your turn. Weigh me. I can't believe this. Now weirdos. What? Oh, just step on the scale right over there. OK, 140 pounds. You're all set. 140 pounds. It should be 105. Yes, ma'am. I get that all day. You're free to go. You gained weight. Where's my ticket? Oh, you'll be assigned a seat at the gate. I can't believe this. Ticket. Here you go. Oh, I see you've paid for one bag. Here it is. OK. Oh, 32 pounds. Now it's your turn. I can't believe this. <laughs> Look, they're making them weigh in over there. Oh, this is really interesting. Do you think we should tell them we're reporters? No, it'll make for a better story if we don't tell them. Okay. As if traveling wasn't bad enough, now the airline is weighing passengers. Is it for their comfort or at their expense? I, I would not be comfortable getting weighed like that. I'd be like, dude. I, I'm I'm so little. I weigh 84 pounds, guys. That's but you don't really need to see that, you know. All right, ladies, how is our new weigh-in policy going? I think we've needed to do this for a long time. It takes some getting used to. The passengers hate it. Well, it is important in order to maximize profits. Really? Why is that? It shouldn't matter what people weigh. Of course it matters. I don't know why they don't get it. It's for the same reason that we weigh the luggage. It's about time. But we charge people if their luggage weighs too much. <laughs> that's coming next if I get my way. Well, that's just wrong. Who comes up with this stuff? Not to toot my own horn, but I do. And if all goes well... Yeah, I you're a horrible person. I could tell. He's so conceited. He just, he got a big head about himself. He think he's better than everybody. I could tell. I will be the next president of the airline. 
Well, just remember me at promotion time. Well, that ought to be interesting. Let's hope not. <laughs> What is it with them weighing the passengers? It's bad enough they charge us for our bags. What are they gonna do next? Charge us by the pound? <laughs> Mom, where are we sitting? They're supposed to call our name and let us know. Passengers on Totally Airlines Flight 118 to New York, I am pleased to announce we are now open for seat assignments. Please come to the podium when the first initial of your last name is called. Last names A through E. Hi, we're Anderson and Charles. Okay, here you go. Last names F through L. Where are the Hudsons? Here you go, seats 5A and C. Here's your ticket, son. And finally, passengers M through Z. Hi, we're Reynolds and Morrison. Here you go, 5B and 6C. I got 6A, what did you get? I got 5B. Oh. Does that mean we're not sitting together? I guess not, but at least we'll be close. This is the worst airline ever. Oh, look! Now what? Those people next to us have 5A and 5C. I guess you're gonna be seatmates. Are you kidding me? I have to sit in the middle? I guess that's the way. Wow, she judging them because they big. Oh my gosh, I could already tell. She's like, I'm, I have to sit in the middle? Oh my gosh. It works. Oh, I don't think so. You about to see if she could go get hers changed. Excuse me, there seems to be a problem. What is it, ma'am? You have me sitting between two large people. That's right, you're lucky enough to be petite. That's how we do it here. Not petite enough to be taken advantage of. You can't do this, and I am not putting up with it. Right. Well, ma'am, what do you expect me to do about it? I well, I don't know. She, she, I don't know. Like, I don't think she gonna get it, because that, that lady don't care. I don't care. Just don't put me next to extra large people. Extra well, large would people. you prefer <laughs> to have a whole row to yourself? That's so nice of you. I, I wouldn't mind it at all. Two extra seats? That'll be $456. $456, what for? Well, if you want three seats, you're going to have to pay for three seats. All right. You're gonna have to pay for some extra seats all because she don't wanna sit by extra large people. But I don't think it will really, really hurt her like that sitting between them. Like, as long as they got, as long as they keep their space. You know, like, I feel like they're not going to smash her. I feel like she's just going to feel like she way too little. and She's going to be between two big people. I get it. This is a shakedown. Is there anything else you can do? Absolutely. We're a customer first airline. I could offer you a free neck pillow. Loner. Free neck pillow? You've got to be kidding me. You have to do something else. Well, in that case, why don't I offer you the first row? First row? That's more like it. Karen was unwilling to pay for Wait. more room. Yeah, but is she gonna be happy with the first row? Like, who's gonna be in the first row? I don't think she gonna like the first row, you know? Boom. Will she be satisfied with the first row? You're so lucky to be in the first row. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there ain't first.
first row, too! Karen, what are you doing in my seat? Oh, Maria, you can have my seat. No, Remy petty for that. Oh, wow. Now she, she took her friend's seat like that and just go be like, oh, you got my seat because I don't want to sit by extra big people, but you pretty medium size, so you can sit between them, you know? Like, what the heck? Remember, the airline has carefully planned out passenger distribution. <laughs> well, my dear friend, I suggest you take it up with the airline. <laughs> well, my friend, I will. Look like they're going to be arguing. Excuse me. I hate to bother you. How can I help you? I'm in row six. Well, I was, till my friend took my seat. Your friend? Why would she do that? Because she doesn't want to sit in the seat that she was assigned. Really? Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you very much. Excuse me, ma'am, you're in someone else's seat. Oh, it's okay, she's my friend. Well, your friend says she wants her seat back. Well, what do you expect me to do? You need to take your original seat or get off this plane. Fine, it's not like me to make trouble. <laughs> Excuse me. She do not seem that bad sitting between them two. Like, really? Come on now. <sighs> you two are in my row. Let me see your tickets. We don't have to show you our tickets. Yeah, mind your business, lady. We'll see about this. Now she know dang well they supposed to be sitting right there. She just, she just a Karen, man. She trying to just start trouble. Yes, Mrs. Reynolds, how can I help you? These people do not- She's looking like dip. Dang, what do you want now? What do you want now? I have tickets. They are not supposed to be on this plane. Really? I hate to bother you, but can I see your tickets, please? Okay, sure. Well, here's mine. Um... I think I lost mine. Well, young man, if you don't have a ticket, we have a problem. Really? What am I supposed to do? I, I told you he didn't... Not her trying to just speak up and talk her, put her little two cents in. ...have a ticket. Well, you certainly must have had a ticket to get on this plane. Well, obviously he's a child and doesn't need a ticket. And what would you have us do, ma'am? Well, since he's a child, he has to fly on his mother's lap. You know what? I'll... She, now, she know dang well. He not a baby. He's he's a full-grown teenager, too big to be sitting on his mom's lap. Stop, stop it. Now she being petty. I'll have to look into this. Katie, we have a passenger situation, and I'm not sure what to do. Really? What is it? We have an unticketed passenger, and I'm not sure whether to throw him off or let him stay. Well, I don't know, but Mr. Stickler's up in first class. Why don't you ask him? Stickler, that's perfect! What he gonna say? He, cause honestly, he just seemed like he's an ignorant guy. Like he don't care about nothing no way. He don't really care about people. He just care about being the president of the airline. Excuse me, Mr. Stickler. <sighs> Patricia, can't you see I am busy? I'm sorry to bother you, but we I have don't a situation. Care. A situation? What is it? We have a passenger without a ticket. No ticket? Well, unless he is a child, then we have to throw him off the plane. Well, actually, he is under 18. You know our policy. Make the kids sit on our lap. Okay, whatever you... He's a big kid. That Like, that's really the policy? What the heck? You say. Good. Then I can sell his seat. See? This kid is Everything big. works out great. I'm sure you're totally right. So what did you find out? I'm sorry, son, but because you don't have a ticket, you're going to have to sit on your mother's lap. What? I have to sit where? Are you crazy? 
Wow. This is gonna be so juicy. I can't wait to submit it when we get there. Why wait? Do it now. Okay. The reporters just posted a big story about the airline's new policy. What will happen when it hits the news? Crazy or not, you're going to have to make everybody gonna be hating on it because they're gonna be looking like what kind of airline weighs people? What kind of airline makes kids sit on their parents' lap if they don't have a ticket? Like, what kind of airline does all this? Like, he really just wants to save seats so he could sell out, sell out. It's nothing but, it's, it's just about money with him. That's, the, that's what I see. He has a big head. All he cares about money. He don't really care about the people. And he cares about being president of airline. Boom. The airline has already resold your seat. Okay. Uh, uh. Go on. Oh, hi. You look like a nice fella. This is Patricia. Patricia, this is Chet Connors, president of the airline. Oh, yes, sir. What can I do for you? Tell Stickler I have an urgent message for him. OK, he, he I'll let trouble. him know. He's in trouble. Excuse me, Mr. Stickler? Uh, yes, Patricia. You have an important phone call in the galley. Must be the CEO calling. Looks like I got that promotion after all. Or you thought, or you thought. <laughs> <clears throat> Stickler speaking. What's this article I'm reading? You're weighing our passengers? Uh, why, yes, it will save our airline a ton of money. <laughs> and cost us our integrity. This story is all over the news. We're a laughing stock. Uh, Mr. Connors, with all due respect, you said yourself that we needed to make some cuts. Oh, I've already figured out how to do that. You're right, Stickler. Totally Airlines is a bit overloaded. <laughs> I knew you would see my side of things. See, these passengers, they are nope. just waiting. Nope, you about to get fired. I just know it's coming. Weighing us down. The only thing weighing us down is you. You're fired. I'm what? <sighs> Come on, Maria. Come on. What do you care? Her friend's still mad at her. <laughs> Look, your story's national news. You mean our story? <laughs> you know what, Russell? I am never flying this airline again. Who's this guy? Excuse me, are you the Hudsons? Yeah? Do I know you? No, but I know of you. And on behalf of Totally Airlines, I completely apologize. Totally Airlines? What do you have to do with them? I'm president of the airline, and I want you to know that I fired the guy who came up with the idea of weighing passengers. Well, that's a good idea because it's really embarrassing. Right. Can I make it up to you by giving you free platinum status permanently on our flyer program? Platinum? What does that do? Free first class upgrades every time you fly. He doesn't have to fly on my lap, does he? No. You don't have to fly on her lap ever again. I'll take that deal. So will I. Uh, he, 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 he saved the company. Turns out the airline shouldn't have tried to put profits over people. Mm -hmm. Would you agree to be weighed by an airline? Let us know in the comments. Right. What would y'all do if y'all was in that situation? But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos. I'm out.